I'm going to show you in six easy steps how you can apply the new Power Apps Read Only Grid Control on your table. I have it applied here on my case table. And let me show you some cool things your users can do when this grid is turned on. As a user, not a system administrator, as a user, I can control what columns I see. I can click edit columns here at the top. I can reorder the columns that are already here based on what I wanna see. And even cooler, I can click this add columns button and add things like case type or case stage, any data points that I wanna see that aren't already on the system view. Click apply and then boom, I can see my changes in the system view without creating a new view. Now, this is only valid for the session that I'm on. So as soon as I leave cases, this will reset to the system admin or the system settings view. But it's really cool that you can have temporary control over your, your columns like this. Additionally, you can click edit filters and you can add or remove any filters that are currently here um, just to see how the grid changes. Click apply and then it refreshes right in this view. There's so many cool things you can do with this control and if you're not using it today, you're gonna wanna add it after this video. Step one, very simple. Go to make.powerapps.com, add the table where you wanna include that control into a solution file. Then we're gonna click the ellipses at the top and select switch to classic. And that's because this is an entity level control. It's on the entire table, which we can't currently do at Power Ops. Step two, we're in our classic solution designer and we need to expand the entities level and then click on the new table that you added. This instance, it was the account. Once the account loads, we are going to click the control tab. And you can see if this is the first time that you're accessing it, you're going to have one in here called the read-only grid default, and it's set to be on web, phone, and tablet. Step three is to click add control. This is gonna open up a new window of all available controls that you can apply to this table. We are looking for a very specific one, so scroll down until you find it, the Power Apps read-only grid. So once you found that, this is step four, we're gonna click add. Then we have to update the scope. So I want this to show up on all devices. I don't care where my users are accessing their Power App or their Dynamics 365 system. I want it to be on the web version, the phone version, and the tablet version. So I'm gonna update all of that. And that's all you have to do. So final step, which is step six, is to save and publish. But wait, there's more. If you notice on the bottom here, there are quite a few options here in configuration. So these are optional properties that you can configure in this control. Now there's one that's probably really important to a lot of users. Before you apply this particular control, there's the little alphabet um, at the bottom that you can use to filter your database. By enabling jump bar, you bring that alphabet back in this. So that's awesome. So all you have to do is click this button, change it to enable, click OK. And now once we apply the Power App Read Only Grid, we'll still have that alphabet at the bottom, which everybody knows and loves. Reflow behavior. This is going to allow you to update the grid display based on its width. If you want to specify something and not allow for reflow, you can do grid only or list only to enforce your data show up a certain way. Filtering is turned on by default. You do have the ability to turn that off for all of your users so they won't see that filter icon. And navigation types allowed all by default, but you can change that to primary contact only. So that's it. That's how simple it is to apply this awesome control on all of your tables or your entities. Just remember, you have to switch to classic to do it and then bring joy to all of your users.